Battlefield 2042 is really bad. Battlefield 2042 has problems. Why Battlefield 2042 is getting so much pressing reality of Battlefield 2042? Battlefield 2042 is trash. Surely it speaks for itself. Do you guys remember Battlefield Hardline? Yeah, same. The last time Battlefield had this much hype was definitely back in Battlefield 1. That trailer became the most viewed Battlefield trailer in the history, contrasting to this Call of Duty in that same year, of course. Everyone was hopping on that game. Can't fan try Battlefield game for the first time. Snoop Dogg put down his joint just to play this. Now, did Battlefield 1 live up to his hype? Well, Yes, but actually no. It's got a lot of attention during its release, and man need to say it was quite a solid game, even in the present day. Mechanic-wise, graphic-wise, it's just even campaign was quite well done. But if you really want to make an accurate World War One game, that's gotta be one big sacrifice. What did they even do back in World War One? Hey. Game lacked content, weapons customization was poor, no longer was there weapon attachments, and now you're locked in what what they call as weapon, weapon. variant. Yeah, like, like, that's so cool. Well, scrap that. Dice say it was time to move on into World War Two, an era that actually presents more interesting. Oh, you lucky bastard! The dislikes are no longer there. Battlefield Five had one of the rockiest starts to any Battlefield. Fans were skeptical. Snoop Dogg was no Fucking longer man. attending EA Play. Fuck. So just when the devs were finally putting the contents and the fixes needed for the game. Scrap that, Dice said it was time for a new title. The title of them working on for years. Fan loved the trailer, they were excited about the near future arrow shooter. I and mean, then Dice went as far as saying this game would be to the fans a love letter. Well, a love letter in an abusive relationship, of course. This game is by far the most rotten to core of any Battlefield games. This had a technology they presented the next gen 128 players to the game, but can't be bothered to look at the most important thing in a shooter game which is actually being able to shoot your what enemies. At launch, this game was plagued with what they describe as weapon bloom spread, where the recoil becomes completely random as you spray the round. Optimization is shit, and so are the servers. To be fair, I've already come to terms with many minor bugs, uh, the glitches in the game, as they were pretty much this bad with any new Battlefield releases. But this free in a AAA title is absolutely intolerable. I just want to speak on this point like quite seriously because creators were basically paid to shut up about the issues with the game. I love Jack Frax, alright? I mean, I, I watch his videos all the time for games info, maybe just for fun even. But this video in particular where he claimed to actually be aware of the game issues by reading all these negative messages and claims about his sponsorship and is trying to get his message across to the team. Uh, I say that's not an actual addressing of issues because I think that's more like a damage control. Of course he doesn't want to get any backlash for saying the real problem about the game because man's gonna make a living somehow, right? You, you gotta say nice things about the game to stay in this network. But action speak for itself, alright? He makes like 10 videos showing amazing gameplay, nice gameplay, and like 2 videos actually complaining about it. And because it's not only Jack Frax that's showing this kind of theme on the channel, but many other big Battlefield creators, the one that we trust to relay our messages, and, and to the big game developer like DICE or a publisher like EA, our voices of the community are basically unheard, unless we're like influencers slash creators, you know, that EA creator network thing that appears in the beginning of the video. And when these people don't actually speak up about it, we're nothing but scrap that Dice say we've assembled a new team and is now working on the next Battlefield title. Uh, when are we gonna stop with this trend of releasing an uncomplete AAA title, promise to it's gonna be fixed and to perfection along the way, then not actually fulfilling that promise, and start the whole new cycle again? Like, it's getting harder and harder every day it's just to recommend a Battlefield title to my friend. It's getting harder to tell them what's good about it, why they should play it and join me, you know. Some of my friends have withdrawn from purchasing it, some have completely refunded it, and some don't even bother to converse about the game in the first place. For every hope I've had with this franchise, it's been collapsed for far too many times. Of course, I don't want to be over dramatic about it and just move on to play many other amazing games out there in the market like Halo Infinite's core gameplay is super solid, campaigns even better and they are continuously fixing and making the new progression to be better. Even Apex Legends 
is still yet another good game. Doesn't get me any views though. Or I could switch to racing games and Forza Horizon 5 has pretty much become one of the best all-round racing game out there right now. But I grew up with this franchise, all right? I played every Battlefield game since Bad Company 2, and it's like watching your best friend drifting away towards the past that's the opposite of you. When this trailer dropped, I was hyped as shit. I was like 12, maybe even younger, maybe 11 when this trailer came out, and goddamn, is like feeling proper erection for the first time. If this game doesn't get the fixes and updates to deserve, forget about that next upcoming title. First off, why are we already talking about the next Battlefield title, like not even halfway into the lifetime of this one? It kind of shows that you don't really have the passion or care about what you're working on at the moment all that much because you're already moving on to another thing. Like you should make sure that this is perfect until you even look at anything ahead of you. And to bluntly answer the question of whether or not this game is dying, uh, yes. But the answer to the question of whether or not this game will become better is still unknown. It doesn't depend on me, it doesn't depend on you, it depends on the fucking team if they're going to do it or not. If this sort of cycle continues, I urge you to completely stop supporting DICE on their next battlefield, because they would definitely take that hope of yours away. And that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Battlefield rant, I guess. <laughs> Other cool games too, but they don't get views because I talk about Battlefield and they get a lot of views. So yeah, alright, I'll see you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.